Hey guys, welcome back to the series for what is technically the three year episode and to celebrate that fact we're going to watch the first ever episode at the end of this and review it. Uh, but to get us started we've got an optimistic dive bomb at the entrance to the Porsche curves followed by a couple of other guys going off. You don't often see cars going off in a big pack at the Porsche curves. And then in at 9 we've got Carver6000 who I am forever going to call non One Song. He calls himself SimTwitch6000 on my Discord for this very reason. But I'm going to call him non One Song because of what's going to happen. He's going to do a nice little spinny entrance. I don't know what that's called in drifting circles. But not quite the way old non One Song probably would have done it. And then coming in at number 8 we've got a whole bunch of Bugatti starting at Daytona. So you can pretty much guess what's going to happen here. However, we do have the bonus idiot, which is the ghosting system, because from all this carnage, I have not actually seen too many cars, or any cars actually, ghosting. Not that it would have mattered here, but if cars are all piling into a tie wall and no one is ghosting, got a bit of a problem. And then next up at 7, we've got Spent Soul, starting a Catalonia National, so again, you know what's going to happen here. Everyone thinks we're going to the further away corner, but no. And then going to get some punting, pretty much the whole field off. A bunch of cars, no doubt, are damaged there, uh, but Spencer are somehow going to be able to continue. And then coming in at number 6, we've got Thomas, who is got a lighting issue by the looks of things. <laughs> and then he's also 4.5 seconds, so he's going to be 4.5 seconds behind the leader here. And coming up to the end of the race, we should be getting a pretty secure win here, but unfortunately for him, it's not going to be secure. He's going to end up losing the lead by celebrating way too early. And then coming in at number 5, we've got Rock Morrow. The guy up in front, potentially new to the game. Uh, because he's weaving all over the place there. And also, going to go into the first little chicane here way too fast. And end up piling into that wall, getting his nose stuck in the concrete. And then coming in at number 4, we've, we've got a man who should probably just uninstall this game. Because... I mean, this is just humiliating. So, he's chasing the soccer mom's van here, and he's going to go for the old ram. But of course, we are experienced in this series. He's going to go for the dove, and he's going to send him on his way into the tie wall, probably to uninstall the game. And then coming in at number three, we've got Death Angel. I don't know what's happening in this week, something in the water maybe, but a lot of guys not realizing they're ghosted, as we have this guy behind who is going to go for the ramp, not knowing he's ghosted to every other person involved and they're just going to end up in the wall. And then coming in at number 2, got a fairly similar situation here, uh, but made stupider by what's going to happen <laughs> before. So we are going into the little bit here at Bathurst, there's a guy up in front who has already gone off and then as Scorpio tries to get past, he's going to try and swerve into him. Hasn't worked out that he's actually ghosted and he's going to try and ram again. And, oh my god, like, if you haven't worked it out the first time. And then coming in at 1, this is very, very surprising. So, we've got Jacrispy, and we're going to have a few people going into the wall here, himself included. Uh, most of the lobby as well. And he's actually going to end up gaining 3 places from that, <laughs> up into the lead. And then in with no bonus clips because of the review. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to leave a comment, why not go ahead and join the engagement gang like the guys on the screen right now. And if you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe and click the bell to stay notified. And I'm very sorry about this intro. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm starting a new series. Uh, this time is when you guys get to submit your own uh, clips and then get featured on the channel. So if you have your own channel, it's, it's a really good idea for you to submit because you may get some exposure out of it. So without further ado, let's get started. Coming in at number 5 this week, we have DBCM112 and this is just the most incredible perfect pass you'll ever see. So for those of you who haven't fallen asleep during that intro, uh, we are going to now review this and see what the clips were actually like and obviously my commentary is shocking. Uh, but this one, I do remember this, uh, you go straight under that car. In at number 4 this week is VTEC kicked in with some good sweet karma from this guy who's cheating and then manages to take himself out on the straight, which is pretty incredible. And I did used to commentate over the little number board there, which uh, some people actually preferred at the time, but I definitely am glad that I didn't continue with that. So we, what have we got here? We've got this Peugeot, I believe, cocking around, as usual. Uh, VTEC kicked in, that's a name I haven't seen for a while. I believe it might be someone who potentially still sends in clips, but has changed their game attack. I cannot recall exactly. 
So what's gonna happen here? I don't actually remember the result of this as this guy takes himself off actually and we got someone else cocking around there. In at number three this week is from Omerta and it just shows that it's not always just one idiot in a lobby, sometimes it's the whole lobby. Okay, what does number three have for us? Oh, it's Omerta! That's a name I haven't seen for a very long time. I think he's PTG Onyx unless he's changed it. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna have a whole bunch of people off at the start at Watkins Glen. That is very common with fours or six. Not so sure that clip would have actually made it these days. Coming in at number two this week, it's JSR Rossi showing that great awareness is all you need to make a rammer look stupid. This is the clip that actually inspired this series. Uh, so we've got everyone's favorite rammer, old Big Colt, and we've got Rossi leading. I saw this on his, his feed and I thought, you know what? There's so much ramming in this game, we can actually make something out of this, something good from all the ramming as he's gonna go for another attempt here. Miss out pretty badly. That guy's been banned on about 15 accounts, unsurprisingly. And coming in at number one this week, it's LSR Emil Nielsen. Very similar to the previous clip. Uh, this has just probably got to be the worst rammer in the history of Forza. Okay, and number one, we have got Neil Nielsen. Back when LSR was the team. So we are here at... Silverstone National? International? <laughs> We've got this guy who's already failed once. And what's gonna happen here? I think he's probably gonna fail a second time since the clip is continuing. And actually that was dismal, I must say. Like he's failed spectacularly twice there, so that would have definitely made it these days. Uh, so yeah guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, go and leave a like. If you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much to my patrons for their support. If you'd like to join them and get access to videos early, Link is up here and in the description. And yeah, thank you for making it to the end of this and for supporting the series for as long as it has been around. And I'll see you guys in my next video.